made its move today and overshadowed the sun. The eclipse began this morning and dimmed the skies in every state except Alaska. Down here in the south, we had probably the best view of the eclipse. Channel 12's Christy Walton was at the planetarium today and joins us now to tell us all about what happened. As you can see by looking at that graphic a moment ago, moment ago we weren't in the optimum path for viewing that eclipse, but we were in a place here in Shreveport to get a real exciting view of the eclipse. We were out at the Spar Planetarium this morning. There were lots of people, probably about 100 people and their children had come out and they were taking advantage looking through telescopes and that sort of thing. We had we brought back some video from there that we wanted to show you. Um, looking at what we were seeing there, as I said, there were a number of people. The kids seemed to be having the best time out there this morning. They had three telescopes set up, two of them that you could view a reflection of sorts of the eclipse itself and another that they had hooked up a closed circuit television too so that you could go inside the planetarium and see it on the screen. That view you just saw there was as it was just beginning and that happened about 10.40 or so. You started seeing the first bit of the moon coming across the sun there and then as the morning went on uh, you'd see a little bit more. Down in the New Orleans area appropriately enough the first sight of that eclipse came in a community called Sunshine. Um, out at the World's Fair, a number of people that were standing in line, one man said that he was going to wait and watch it that night on television since they weren't really equipped to look at it, standing in line to get into the fair. But we really were well equipped out here. This was about, oh, as what we're looking at here, about the maximum that we got out here this morning. Um, had about a 90% coverage. What was surprising, um, we did not get the darkness, you might have imagined, that uh, some people may have been expecting, maybe. But it did feel rather duskish almost, like, oh, four or five o'clock in the afternoon mm -hmm. would be the way it felt with the sunshine. It was really kind of exciting. And then, as you can see, we started getting, moving back toward as it's moving across. That's not really going to be complete until a little bit after the news show is over. About 1239, the sun will be completely back out again. Okay, sounds interesting. Al Walton is with us to talk a little bit more. Al, it it didn't really get dark, as Christy said. Not as dark as people might have thought it would have been. Still a little spooky looking, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was a little shaded. No, it wasn't really all that dark, no. Mm -hmm. uh, but the West Coast and the East Coast, those folks are not going to get a chance to see it. We'll oh, see really? why on a satellite.